Richard and he was like, so it was yeah. a bit. And it was a, and we, it was just put more of a round table discussion. Yeah, yeah. Effect, uh, yeah. Show and tell, yeah, stuff. So. I just couldn't tell. But yeah. Mm. I thought we did. Oh. Right. So we've got um, much more. All right, let's go in. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, good. Mm. Cool. Okie dokie. Uh, who have we got? Yeah, we've got. Obviously, we've got Stan and we've got the Francis. Well, that's where you're from. Hi, right, Chris. Can you guys hear us all right, Stan? Uh, I can hear you, but my, my copy's about crashing. I might have to reboot and join again. Okay, that's right, your video's frozen. But um yeah, we're just yeah, yeah. So can they can you guys hear us? Pop something on the I can hear you outside. Cool. So they should. Okay. Cool. Cool. Perfect recorded. Yeah. Okay. Um right, so today what we're going to do is um, something a little bit different. It's not necessarily training per se, but we're going through some functionality that we're in the middle of developing on the system. So this is very much, um, not even beta version, this is like whatever's before beta. <laughs> um, and I, what I wanted to do is kind of release it to people who work on the system regularly to get some feedback on how you feel this will suit your specific users. So the background on this is working with clients who have a lot of pathways or a lot of zones that you need to navigate through on this nav panel. Um, we do get consistent feedback that this sometimes isn't the greatest option when you have lots of things you need to be looking at. So what we've tried to do is come up with a way that you can display that information and in a way that makes it easy to get to a lesson. So we're trying to cut down the number of clicks that it takes for you to get from login to work. Um, the way that this will work is essentially a flag that allows this to be turned off and on per site. So it's not necessarily something that you have to use if you don't want to use it, it's totally fine. And it's going to, at this stage, be a function that you can toggle back and forth between as a user. So in the panel up above, you'll have an icon that takes you to the dashboard and you can always come back to this view if you want to maintain access to the nav panel for some reason. So I will quickly click on it. Um, before we get started, I would like to point out this has not been prettified in terms of design or UI. This is just functionality. So what we needed to do for starters is get the foundation in place and kind of figure out what we could do with these different things that we've got set up. Okay. So what you'll see when you have a look at this on your end, um, we'll be releasing it to you for review. So I can get you a URL that you can click on and go to. Um, you'll register and use a specific join code and it'll get you into this kind of a layout. You can work your way through everything. So just a quick little bit of orientation. What we have up above is a zone name. This is the pathway name. And then the L or the W indicate whether it is a lesson, uh, like a standard module or a wizard, which you may or may not be familiar with. Um, a wizard is developed for um, repetitive use of something. So initially it was made for clinicians who were assessing uh, different patients. So you would create a new instance of a wizard for each patient. So that's kind of the gist with those. Um, they're really handy if you have stuff that has to be redone um, annually and you wanna keep access to old records, you can just have people create an instance each year. So we use them for a couple of different things. Um, but really what we've got is kind of a list of all the modules you have access to. So it's a blown out view. Instead of selecting a pathway and having it appear on the window as you had normally, we just have, here's all the stuff you've got. You'll also notice that each of these has different states associated with it. So on my test account, you can see that I've gone through and I've earned a certificate for this module, but I've just started this one. Now the key difference is that this module has a certificate associated with it. This one does not. So you'll notice that there is no certificate icon for that particular module. This is just trying to give people a way to really quickly look through and see where they've earned a certificate, where they haven't, where they've started it and they haven't finished it. So just a really quick overview of, of the state of that particular piece of work. The bits on the icons that you probably won't get to see for this demo are when a certificate is getting ready to expire. So this will change color when it's 30 days out from expiry. It changes to an orange. And then when it is fully expired, it changes red. So if you have someone that's going through and needs to be redoing certification regularly, 
they can look through really quickly and see what state that particular mm -hmm. module is in. Um, when you select a module, you just get a little bit of information about it, and then you have access to the same buttons that appear on the pathway. This is all something that we want to take advantage of and probably style up so that it's a little bit more engaging, but we just need to replicate that functionality for now so it just kind of sits as it is. And really that's pretty much it. Um, what we'll do at this stage is, like I said, flick you through a link to this test site and um, a join code that you can register with. You can go through and do any of these that you want. They're a free game. Um, they're all demo modules that we use for a variety of different things. So you can start whatever you want, do whatever you want. Um, this is uh, not, <laughs> it's not a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a test site, so it does get overwritten quite often, so don't get attached to your scores. <laughs> and it, w it won't always be here for your access as well. This is more or less just for this purpose. So it's very much a, a fluid area. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, I can answer them now. Um, but ultimately, what I'm hoping to get out of this is that you guys can go through and finish the survey that I've got here. And we can collate all the feedback. So just click on everything. Tell me what you'd like. Tell me what you don't like. I've got a couple of questions for you to answer in terms of kind of how you feel about it. And it's um, more or less just focus on the functionality, not necessarily the looks, because the looks are going to be redundant. So what's the real aim of this, like a dashboard, is it? Shh. I know, I know. <laughs> to give you a really quick way to see what watches you have access okay. to. Yeah, like when you compare it to what we have currently, to get to a list of what modules you have, you have to select the pathway and then find the module within the pathway. Oh, okay, so this does, it. so if you have 10 on the pathway, 10 modules, you can see exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, so this, these view, the view that I have here, all these different zones, they're all replicated here. Yeah. Just blown out. Yeah. So it's really a view to a, it's a view, a yes. quick view of everything. Of everything. That you have yeah. access to. Yeah. Okay. So if I was only a member of this, um, of this zone, I would only see this here. Okay. And the reason some people may want to keep this type of a layout is that it allows us to give you a more graphical representation yeah. of learning. Hmm. Um, but that can be a case by case basis. Like I said, yeah. this can be used in conjunction at the moment. Nav panel that we have. Yeah. So if that had like 10 modules in that, you'd see them listed as 10 modules. Yes. Where you are on at each one. Yes. Do you have one of those? That's them and there, is it? Yeah, well, the, the, it would just be a list of 10 of these underneath. Okay. The and that's well, one of the. Powerful. So you don't get a certificate for each one, though. You get a certificate. How does that? Happen? You only get a certificate for the completion of everything. No, you only get a certificate for a module that has a certificate associated yeah. with it. So these, for example, this one has a certificate, and this one has a certificate, it's just grayed out, because okay. you haven't earned it. Yeah. And then these two, because there's no icon, yeah. you have no certificate associated with that lesson. So we can kind of pick and choose where you have that feature added. Okay. Hmm. Can you pick and choose where they're added? What do you mean? One. With, with this yeah. the certificate? Yeah. yeah, you can with the lesson certificates, you can. You've got pathway certificates at the moment. Oh, yeah. So yours are a little bit different. I don't have any certificates because I couldn't because you have to because we redo them. Mm. So, um, um, we we moved you to lesson certificates, but then you didn't have we didn't have a way to backfill completion dates, so you oh, couldn't right, have sorry, all the certificates. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> My own stuff on the room. Just wondering what I'll see when I'm in there. Yeah, and one of the reasons that we kind of are, are leaning more towards this approach is for people who want to have more than seven modules on pathway. Because graphically, that's very difficult to represent in this box. <laughs> you can fit them, but it's not an easy way to, to approach it. Um, we've got a couple of customers that have people that will be working with more than 50 modules, and they needed a really easy way to see everything that was assigned to them. So this gives you a, a much better bird's eye view of, of everything that's yours. Um, one of the things... No, good. The score is the score there, no? No, there's no score. It's okay. either you've passed it, you haven't passed it, or okay. you've cured it. Yeah. Currently, if yeah. that's something you know, if you don't use a certificate though at all, we don't use certificates. So, if you don't use a lesson certificate, you've got this um, bit over on the side. So this is several different states associated with it. Okay. So yeah, 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 yeah not started, started, started. started. Sure. and then I think it's uh, passed, perhaps. Might be passed if you've if, if you've completed it, yeah. Cool.
Yeah, so um, have a look at it. If there's anything you'd like to see, keep that in mind as well. So if you want to see points, mention it. If you want to see like stuff that's been assigned to you, mention it. Um, I really would just like feedback at this point as to how you feel about it and what you'd want to see for something like this. Because hmm. it could also come down to how, how would we display this? Do we to see it by people you can submit to your tutor or things like that? Oh, things like that. Anything you really want to see. Break yeah. this down because for some people, quite a long list. How else could we break it down? Um, and I think it's all about the learning experience. How we you gamify it and they make it feel a bit more like a game that people need to mm, tick all the boxes, you know? Mm. Maybe it's even a picture that gets created or something, I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anything sort of, you want? Any sort of feedback would be mm. most appreciated. appreciated. Mm. Just to, some of the scenarios that you might come across, I guess. Um, you yeah, probably also working out on regards to the benefits and, and how we could implement that. Mm. Do you think we I mean, that's certainly the, that overview is something that I think would be quite beneficial to, especially like my intention is to have basically every lesson you can learn in our workspace is something that we put through here for consistency. Mm. And then, but if you are getting up to something like 50, you know, it becomes quite um, overwhelming. Overwhelming, <laughs> especially for people mm. who you know, aren't that literate on computers. Mm -hmm. And then just to see, oh, actually, I have passed quite a few. So yeah, I'm progressive. So just that nice to get yeah. yeah. So it could be interesting how the working with the modules sort of appear on here. Yeah. We've well, this was around. saying like, how do you soften that long list? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and then you said sort of gamifying it or putting it in a way that visually represents sort of their success. Yeah, success or their, their journey. We've looked at um, a couple of different displays that we might be adding on. So this is just like, yeah, it's just a list yeah. essentially mm -hmm. at the moment. Ooh. And there are a couple of different things you could look at in terms of um, display carousels at the top. So you could have uh, modules you've been in most recently, and you could flick through the maybe the last eight that you've been in. Mm -hmm. um, you could have another one for stuff that's been recommended to you. Uh, we'd like to add in filtering again for those people who have more than say ten. <laughs> so yeah. You can filter by um, certificates you've earned, stuff that's getting ready to expire, mm -hmm. different yeah. states different zones. So um, anything like that you feel would be handy, would be good to consider. This is essentially round one of development. So we'll yeah. prettify it um, after we receive feedback and probably make some functionality changes. And then it'll be a soft release to anyone who wants to test this with their actual users. Yeah. Once it's been pretty much. So our users don't use this for that information. We use our own systems. Yeah, it may, not be, it may not be something that Yeah, you yeah. I, yeah. I think it's great, but <coughs> Is driven from the packed side of things, mm. you know, but still, you can still see. I still get people who haven't completed things, they won't question or won't point off, and they think they've completed. Mm. So, this would be really good for that, but yeah. it's not completed through a visual. Yep, you know. definitely. But, um, excellent. Yeah, mm. cool. Any questions over the ether? Mm. No, no. Does, does that mean they're there? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yep. Uh, what do you think, Stan? I can't see them, they're not there. <laughs> not. Yeah, no, I like it. I've been, uh, I've been a fan of this idea for years. So yeah. it's good to see it uh, mm. progressing. Um, yeah. And uh, when it's uh, done up with the graphics and that, made to look mm -hmm. nice, designed, it'll, it'll be really good. And then, like Dan said, it's where to go from there. What else can we add to it? That yeah, that's exactly right. Mm. Really, we want it to end up being a one-stop shop where you can go to see your learning. So maybe a little bit of like some sort of a pie chart that represents how many modules you've done. So I don't know. There's a number of different things you can do with it's it. It's about the learning, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. To, it's supposed to be a learning center. Yeah. Yeah. What makes it easy to see mm. yeah. what's happening in the classroom? Yeah. Mm. I mean, for those that don't know, Stan is one of our colleagues. It's based in Tarama. Mm. Um, anybody got any questions about anything else? Broken related. Mm. Yeah. Nice you know, <laughs> <laughs> love that. Quinta, how are you, how are you tracking with your, your stuff, getting it 
into Luna's hands. Uh, what I've been doing at the moment is, um, because of the way that I develop things, is looking at the modules that I'm doing and then um, drawing little storyboards. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm slowly going through those, trying to create, um, I think, sort of a list of things that I'll slowly knock off. Um, and I'm sort of slowly getting through, I think, what is the appropriate test station for um, my demographics. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm possibly going to get a staff member to a new staff member to help me with this beast that I've sort of bitten off, so <laughs> which is quite nice. Um, yeah, so but I, I like the idea of this because uh, I mean a lot of the stuff that I produce for other people now, a lot of it's sort of that A4 story. Uh, no, A3 story. So you've got your list of stuff completed and then you've got your graphs mm -hmm. on the other side. I mean, I, I see this sort of heading in that direction of, you know, a snapshot of, like I produce something of where we're at for the month, whereas this is the where, where we're at for your learning. And, um, and that's something that is actually in one of my story boards in regards to sort of demonstrating to people that they're actually slowly progressing. Um, because with a lot of the learning that's been created previously with, uh, with your bits of paper and stuff, you don't really notice how much you've actually completed, mm -hmm. um, especially when it's submitted and given away and then it's stored in someone's little leaf ring binder mm -hmm. uh, or electronically um, scanned, which is kind of idiotic in my mind, but <laughs> <laughs> if you kind of electronically store it, just let them do it electronically from the beginning. Yeah. So this is what I'm finding quite beneficial, and especially to some of the people who have been um, not so computer savvy, they're actually finding it far more easy to interact with than they had previously. Was so that's great. Mm -hmm. Mother, we tested it now, so mm -hmm. I'm still kind of in my infancy yeah. with bracket, but I'm just finding any, any challenges or things you need help overcoming? Or I think it's just trying to, yeah. trying to work the test station out, like yeah. trying to find the best way to test people about those topics. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fiddling with that, really. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing sort of other people in the way that they're sort of tackling that test station as well. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing is because you know you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. So if someone's doing something quite unique out there, or just doing something that I haven't seen, mm. that'd be quite cool to see. Mm. Yeah, fair we could probably pull together some examples for a future session. Do you have no? no. See what I can hunt down. We could. It'd probably be easier for us to make some. Yeah. Um, just with IP. Mm. Rather with clients and stuff, but I yeah. can look into some different formats. Because yeah. I've gone through the ones that you've submitted in the introduction to Bracken. Yeah. And I go through those about 10 times, but I mean, even within what the first couple of weeks, mm. I threw you a bit of a curveball in regards to drag and drops and pictures and yeah. stuff. And, um, you know, and that kind of works for that yeah. um, item that people are learning. So, you know, mm. someone's doing something completely unique because that was immediately outside of mm. um, what we're what we're presented with. What we like to do with stuff like that is actually just sit down with you because mm. I've done this with a couple of clients and it's really nice to look at the content that you've got and figure out the kind of ways that you can create interaction around it. Yeah. And that's um, that's actually one of the better parts of my job <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest because you get to like it takes time, like you have to have a moment to absorb the information and kind of say, okay, well, what have you thought about doing this way or this way? And there are certain topics that are easier than others to, to come up with stuff for, but it is still really, um, it's a really rewarding part of the job to kind of figure out how you can make something way more engaging than it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's possibly something that I can do as well, is just get further down and get in my storyboards 
electronically and yeah. then coming and spending some time with you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. We can come to you too. Okay. Yeah. I do like escaping off this location. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, how are yeah. learners finding things? Are they? Yes. Um, is there any feedback from them? They rarely give feedback. Yeah. Well, that's because that's what they do. They have to do more work than they yeah. actually have to do. Yeah. <laughs> it would yeah. be an extra. But because uh, I have a survey tagged on to everyone, but really look at that. Yeah. They take the boxes, put it out for it. They do like a comment, you know, yeah. there's never a comment. So we get the basic. Yeah, you know, work hard, but I know on the job and that kind of stuff. But yeah. um, no feedback is good feedback, really. There's no mm -hmm. complaints. I think people love it because they can do it anywhere, yeah. you know, um, anywhere they are. And so that's still the case. And we're reaching everybody. It's cool. good, you know. So, not yes, so really. my design skills are the problem. <laughs> my design so are the <laughs> On that feedback note, what are you doing with the feedback? Yeah, what sort of yeah, well, we, we haven't done anything with them yet. I read it. I read every one of them because it is an email. It's just a survey hero. Yeah. And I read every one of them mm -hmm. um, just to see if there's anything that anybody does actually, you should know, say or yeah. whatever. Um, and nobody else says anything. So I so just they, keep so some boxes though. Yeah. Key questions. Key questions. Yeah. Just, you know, what I mean? Because it's things like um, that medication, everybody has to be well administered medication. Okay. Testing, you know, do that. So it's, you know, are yeah. you okay, basically? Do you feel okay after this to, mm -hmm. to do your job? It's basically asking yeah. that. Okay. Comfortable. Yeah. You cool. Know? And if I got a, a four instead of a ten, I just go, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So we do, we yeah. look at them, but there's nothing really done at this moment because I never get anything drastic. We never get the inside of it, you know. Okay. So, um, so far, so good. I think it's working. Yeah. I think it's working well. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just sitting on to hopefully you watch it soon. Um, it's quite lengthy because um, we were I might release it lengthy. Yeah. And um, then work on it after yes, um, more or less instructed to get it in there. Because there are people doing it, yeah. So yeah. Um, everybody will do this in the whole organization or five hundred and whatever mm -hmm. there is. So um yeah, it's going well, it's going good. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, slow, but... And you found it too? I did, yes. Yes, I did. Good. It's cool. Oh, it's really, really good. Yeah. It's really good. That and maybe there's some templates, <coughs> um, which are really, really good. Yeah. It does, yeah. It's just giving some ideas. I'm stuck. Mine is design. It's not technical. You know, it's design. Mm. I'm not great with it. Mm. So it takes me, like, I might look for one image online, and I might take all day. Day it's looking for one image. Mm -hmm. and I, that's it. That's, you know, that's <laughs> the right one. Obviously, I've something in my head and I can't, you know, get past that. So, um, you know, we have the same problem. Hmm? We have the same problem. Yeah, yeah it's not. Uh, people it's underestimate me. They underestimate how long it takes to actually properly illustrate something with media in general. Like you're looking for a video or an image and you have a thing in your head, you're just trying to find a thing that fits it. Yeah. I feel your pain. Mm. So that's quite a long thing. Yeah. So anyway, it's all good. Cool. cool. Um, so everybody's probably going to get communication from me later today because our server uh, database is needing a fix. So that's going to be a Wednesday night between eight and eleven for you. Um, and if you Mm -hmm. Five, ten minutes, but I'll be putting a message out to everyone today. So, yeah, if you put that um, message out, I'll just forward it to Shannon yeah. too. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it's a long story short, just one of the hard drives sort of failed and everything else yeah. sort of was looked after, looked after it, but in order to get yeah. back up to that foolproof state, and you think of one to cool. place it. So nothing, cool. nothing's lost, it's just getting it back up to full performance, um, close it, go offline. So that's what I'm going to suggest to you guys so you can share with anybody mm -hmm. that they need. Um, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that should be all right. But yeah, um, we'll run this retraining again. And, yeah, it's time. So, yeah. is there anything you want to talk about or bring to the table, share with mm -hmm. other authors? Um, most people are, have asked me this time to send a recording. So, 
Yeah. Hopefully we can get more tea next time. Yeah. But um, unless anybody's got anything else. No, nothing from me. Nothing from you. Thanks. Awesome. Right. Thanks, Dan. Thank when are you going to? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y